Welcome back to the show, everyone. Craig and Jonah here. So a little update from uh, the Uncharted Catholic Man's uh, NFP New Adventures, Adventures at NFP. Or... Yeah, that's a monthly adventure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Filled with uh, highs and lows, you know, yeah. good falls. Yeah, it's, uh, you just never know what you're going to get. So, uh, so my wife and I, who are uh, elderly by uh, childbearing standards, are uh, learning. Yeah, according to the Bible, though. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> if I'm still having babies at Moses' age, uh, my wife's going to, I'm going to die under suspicious circumstances. <laughs> Just like Odin. Yeah. yeah. I hope, I hope a little different way. But at least now we'll have uh, technology and, and medical examiners there to really. I think it was Abraham, right, that had Isaac. Yeah. So we're true Catholics that yeah, <laughs> no. aren't sharp on the Bible. We could pull a name out of our head and associate it with the no, Bible. No, no, Moses, I think that was Abraham. All right. uh, anyways. <clears throat> All right. So we're learning a new method of natural family planning. We're going to the Marquette method, which uh, so far so good. We made it a cycle without getting pregnant. So, <laughs> yay! Clap, everybody! All right. So, uh, but it's so w what's kind of nice about it um, is that it's designed to really uh, help transition postpartum. So my wife, um, you know, our youngest is kind of like 15 months, but, you know, we have very extended infertility while she's nursing. And so that transition period, for those that haven't been through that, you know, it takes a little bit for things to kind of get back to normal. And you don't know when it's going to happen, or, you know. Yep. So fortunately, we started the new method, like, just at the right time, we had a couple, mm -hmm. <laughs> like within a month of, like we would probably would have got caught in a trap otherwise. Not that having kids isn't amazing. No, nope. yeah. as long as it's someone else right now, yeah. I've, I've done my you, part. You made your contribution to Catholic society. Yep, yep. So you guys, it's time for the younger generation to pick up some of the slack. Let's get going. <laughs> So it helps with the postpartum transition, which, um, and, uh, so it has these rules and the way the rules work. And I don't, I, to, this seems counterintuitive to me, but the way it works is, um, you, so you start a new cycle and like, once you've confirmed, you've had a, had a cycle, then the first, the next first cycle, um, you have a 10 day window. Before, so abstinence starts uh, either 10 days after uh, after the start of the cycle or yeah. the first day that the, the little fertility monitor measures high, whichever oh, happens so it's first. Four. Yeah, okay. wh whichever happens first. Okay. I mean, 10 days seems like a, uh, that's a, that's kind of well into most cycles, but it's... 10 days, I think, would be pushing the limit. Yeah. Uh, like you're right on the cusp there. You're really see, pushing the limit. I, I was like, are you sure that's what it's like? <laughs> But but the way that it works, yeah. I'm like that doesn't seem right. Yeah, that, that when you said that, I thought, huh? Yeah. So, but you got the monitor too. So yeah. That, so you're that's you're taking the monitor thing. every day. So you're getting an actual reading. Uh, yeah. The way the monitor reads is it reads low, high, or peak. Okay. Low, I guess, is generally safe. High is kind of getting ready, and the peak is well, peak is the peak. Peak is ovulation. You want to stay away from that day if you can. If you're, it's tough though. Yeah. So, tell me about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough time period when your wife is probably the happiest mm -hmm. and uh, most loving. Yeah, that's when my wife's yeah. revolve resolve. Uh, when when we need it the most is when it's at its weakest. Yeah. So. It's when you have to be strong. Yeah. Well, there's. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> It hasn't happened yet. <laughs> well, you're doing your part to fulfill the marital debt. Yeah. <laughs> like, you, you're doing your part. Yeah. Uh, really, you really twisted my arm, honey. <laughs> Got 
got a headache. <laughs> I'll do this for you. Yeah. <laughs> so, so then, like, with the next cycle, it goes down to like eight days and then like six days. So, like, if oh, that, that opening window, it's a sliding scale. Yeah. Which, like I guess, it is kind of bizarre. It seems like it would go the other way around, but I guess that the idea is it. It, that it gets longer then? Like if you go out to start at day eight to the next month, then how far does it go out? Or you read the monitor then? Yeah, you're reading the monitor. And so it's three days, you know, peak plus three okay. days. Okay. That's pretty typical. I think okay. for most, you know, figuring out when that peak day is kind of the key part of this. Sure. NFP is easy. It's not that hard once you know when the ovulation occurs. It's the it's the time prior to it. Yeah, because I mean, I think sperm can live for seven exactly. days, approximately. So, at the most, I don't know. That... I, I, I tend to think it's longer than that. <laughs> Anecdotally speaking. <laughs> All right. So, so you start out. You got a, a ten day window, and then assuming you make it through that cycle without being pregnant, the next cycle is eight days, and then that's six days, and I think then. Just start at day zero and keep going to like day 25. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's the standard. I don't know if that's, if that becomes the standard, then the method is, you know, you have the first six days that are available to you or the first high reading, whichever happens first. So okay, we're in that 10, that 10 day thing. Right. Okay. And uh, so 10 days. So I don't know if we were at 10 day or whatever, 11 and I just, so I said, so what's the, you know, so I'm, I kind of got my head down. So, you know, you get in this cycle and you just, you ever watch, um, is it uh, Fighting the Giants or something like that? It's one of those Christian publications. No. It's or Christian movies or whatever, but it's really well done. It's about this guy. He, he's trying, he's a f- head high school football coach and he's trying to uh, muster up his team. And so they got the kind of the one big guy is kind of their their leader and he said i want you to march across i want you to march to the other end of the field with this guy on your back he's like i can't do that coach he's like all right so he blindfolds him and puts him up there and he just said take one yard at a time and he and he keeps yelling at he's like i want to quit he's like don't quit just keep going so he just puts his head down and before he wakes before he, before he knows he's in the other end of the, the end zone right yeah. that's kind of what kept analogy yeah so you're just like okay i I know I can I, do this. I can do this. Just don't think about it too much. Just oh yeah, you don't want to think about it for a second. Just put your head down and uh, push through it. Yeah. So you know you're you're. So anyway, so we're. My wife doesn't necessarily share me share with me what the test results are, but I said, so what's hmm. what's the monitor saying? I said, is it is it high yet? You know, I'm I'm really hoping it's high by now, or maybe yeah, so peak. It's got three days. Right? <laughs> three days. You can just keep it going for that long. Yeah. And she's like, still low. And I was like, <sighs> uh, <laughs> crushing. Yeah. <laughs> so what day was that on then? That was like day ten or eleven. Okay. Uh, so hmm. I was, you know, I mean, I wasn't like, but I was just like, you know, I it was a visible size. Like, uh, okay. Because I'm thinking, okay, I got to keep my head down for a long yeah. Because, like I said. Yeah, but then you're thinking about it. Yeah. So she's like, well, I was thinking about cheating a little bit. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, <laughs> then it's all over. <laughs> I, and I, I put my head up. I'm like, what? She's like, well, you're never going to be able to make it otherwise. I'm like, so this is all about you. That's what she's saying. I'm like, I'm like, hold on a second here. <laughs> I was very conflicted there. Yeah, she's putting you down, but yeah, I can see that. She doesn't think I have the stamina. Well, and, she knows you. And I don't care if she's right. I <laughs> you still don't like to hear it. I, I had because you gotta be strong in that moment. Yeah, I felt yeah. the desire to to defend my to, to defend my honor. You so. turned her down? The <laughs> yeah. Come on. You know me long enough. You know me long <laughs> well, enough right now. I, I know you're stubborn. <laughs> I, I put up a harder fight than I have in the past. <laughs> you made her rub your back first or what? <laughs> but I was seriously like, all right, this, no, this is like, this is just a bad idea. And I'm like, are you sure? Like, she's like, she's like, I trust the monitor. Oh. And, um, all right. 
So, so that's so this is a conversation in the morning. I had all day to think about it. Oh gosh, so you're primed by the time the end of the day comes. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like. I, I felt really conflicted because on the one hand I'm like I don't want to I don't want to take chances um necessarily but I don't want to miss opportunities either. <laughs> See and that's just it. I mean women sacrifice so much in those instances whereas it's I'm not saying that you know like it's just not the same yeah. sort of sacrifice for sure. So so she, she said she's like well I'll, I'll I'm sure the 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 um our, our instructor will be looking at her charts and asking what's going on. And, and she's, and I'm like, yeah, she's going to be like, now I know why you guys have all these kids. I think I figured it out. Huh. Well, congratulations on that. Yeah, I guess. Hopefully that's all it is. Hopefully that's the only congratulations in order, but. You never know. So then uh, did peak fertility occur? How many days after that? No, we're still, oh, still waiting. Still, still waiting. Right, still waiting on the pending test results. <laughs> I think those have stayed the same. I don't think she's going to take another chance. Uh, I mean, we're right. In, I, mean, I don't know. Mm. We're right in Mordor right now. Um, <laughs> woo! Uh, and, so how many days ago is that? And then is it peak? You're not, but you're not at peak fertility right now. Not, not according to the monitor. I mean, we should be, uh, but you know, things are just weird when your kind of cycles are coming. Definitely. It changes, you know, once you get to be in your 40s. Yeah, we're day 16. Okay. And um, so that was after day 10. That was like day 12. Oh, so that's right. Oh, uh, like this seems like a bad idea. <laughs> huh. So I don't know. I mean... We're breaking the rules like we always do. Well, yeah, that that stuff is tough, you know. Like, what if, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I mean, I know nobody ever died from not having sex, but <laughs> I think that's uh, that's that's survivor bias. I think. <laughs> yeah, the only ones uh... around to talk about are those that didn't die from it. That's true. Right? Oh, it's tough, man. I don't know. That, especially when she says that, you know, like, it's one thing. Like I said, you got to keep your head down and just kind of push through. Yeah, I I, I mean, I, I felt in a pretty good frame of mind. I was like, all right, I, I can, I felt like I, I had another week in me. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, the the the, you thought, you thought, the motivating factor for me now is, is to be not have to come into Del Jonah. <laughs> so that I am stubborn that way. You are stubborn, but not I don't that know, it hasn't really done much in the past. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a poor accountability partner. Hope springs eternal. So this was that's good. This was, I was uh I was determined. Hmm. I'm still determined. Um I haven't broken the streak. We just uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> we had a little oasis in there. Yeah, but you made it through so far. How long was the oasis? How many days? Just one. Oh, like, but I mean, like, you know, when she knew that it was going to be pushing the limits of what your endurance was. We were of. we were like five days in. Okay, well, that was and with clearly like another seven seven or eight ahead of us we could have a lot longer than that i don't know i don't think that i don't think it's gone high yet she hasn't told me that mm. oh yeah i mean that's you know i mean i i don't know it'd be great to hear other people's stories we have heard from people that apparently can turn the faucet on and off but i don't know how, how you do it so i don't know i mean uh huh. I, I don't think I don't think people realize how hard this, how difficult this is or can be. Yeah, because it's funny, you know, so like we've been going through a pretty good stretch in our house and, um, you know, just any, you know, real temptation for the solo activity is gone. You know, mm -hmm. like, I mean, it's not like, it's mm -hmm. not like it never happens, but mm -hmm. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. it's easier to brush off or whatever. No big deal. Yep. Yeah. I, so, I, yeah. Yeah. For me too. Like that's the cure. <laughs> like it is the, it seems to be the cure. Yeah, I mean, I I remain convinced that uh, 
three days should be no problem for most guys. Four is when you start to notice it, and five is you know, then you get into the danger zone. Any yeah, then <laughs> the shields are going down a little bit. I don't know. So yeah. um, well, it's interesting news. I wait for a follow up report. I guess. <laughs> Let's uh let's get a pregnancy test uh done first. But uh I don't know. I mean she And it's tough, like you say, the cycles change once you get to be, you know, over forty, I think is kind of when things start changing. So I don't know. Our poor our poor NFP instructor. She's like you guys. How old is your NFP in- instructor? Younger. Oh gosh. So yeah. Oh, that's tough then to take advice from somebody who hasn't lived through it. You know. but not super young i mean I, I my my impression is she's probably in her 30s and they got a few kids and i mean sure i mean they're not they're not newlyweds or anything like not that like 22 but yeah so but i don't have to talk to the instructor so <laughs> not my problem <laughs> oh my god for her going to convention yeah <laughs> coming <laughs> all right <laughs> how many rules did you break she didn't seem worried. I was worried. She didn't seem. I thought you should be more worried about this than you are. Well, you know, I don't know. I mean, I mean, we're supposed to live without worrying, right? But if you didn't worry, you wouldn't use NFP. Yeah, I mean, it's true. Like if you if you lived a worry free life, you just wouldn't use NFP because you just you'd live life. Well, my wife is um, very much worries about me now. That is great, man. Yeah, I, like that's an important factor in a lot of aspects of marriage, but especially in this one. Yeah, and and um, I don't know. I'm a little scared of that. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's been so amazing for our marriage to have this. You know, in the past, it was just kind of like she didn't really understand, and I didn't tell her, and you just try, you kind of walk around, and you know, you know. I'd be willing to bet that it's not just all about you. Perhaps the increased frequency has made, you know, led to her enjoying it more too. And, but she's just putting it on you just to make herself feel better or whatever, make you less suspicious. I don't know. The gentleman never talks. <laughs> I can... Well, I think that that's, I, you know, like, yeah, I, I think that just in my own experience, I suspect that that's part of it. I can neither confirm nor deny, but definitely not deny. So, <laughs> all right well at least we're on the same page right yeah no i think it's right i think that's like there's something that happens like i I don't know i don't understand women's psychology at all but there is something that happens when you have frequent intimacy and then Uh, yeah like there is some different change in desire i think when it happens more frequently and then yeah kind of you go through like an oasis period like that yeah i don't think it's just about taking care of poor old craig i don't know yeah i i really suspect that too i mean i appreciate the the thought and all that but i think i mean you can play along with that or whatever yeah whatever (laughs) i'm not gonna argue with your map as long as as long as we're uh, agree on the destination so yeah uh it's been it's been really really good i i man i i'm just very grateful and thankful uh Mm -hmm. i used to hate I used to hate NFP. Not that I like it, but it just feels totally different when when somebody actually cares about yeah your struggle. I I get that. Yeah. Otherwise, I don't know. NFP for me, for as a guy for a long time, was just a very lonely journey. Um, <laughs> just dark and wintry. Yeah, you just like I said, you're just trying to <laughs> like survive it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and it's well, and it's virtually an impossible journey. You know, if you don't have a caring wife, you know, as far as like about how you feel. Yeah, she knows what I'm going through now. And uh, so. Like if she was just talking to you about your level of concupiscence and whatever else during the, you know, fertile periods. I mean, that would be pretty difficult to deal with. Yeah, none of that. (laughs) Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know how we convey this to other people, but it's it's amazing. Well, communication is key. Talk about it and talk about how you really feel. You know, and that's the only way you're going to get there. 
like if you don't tell your wife how you feel, but then at the same time, hope that she will at least listen to or respect your feelings. You know, that's just kind of how it all starts. Yeah. Well, and um, I think the la- one of the last episodes we did, I kind of highlighted what I thought were the four key pillars mm-hmm. of Catholic intimacy and um, wife understands this is a i'm not going to use the word need but this is an important part of a man's life the hot and holy lady says the need yep so whatever it's pretty close i think it's a need (laughs) but steaks are needs too so i don't know (laughs) but coffee and you know but um so it's it's a need it's a need for the man uh number two she does not want neither of them want the man taking care of business on his own Mm mm-hmm Number three, you gotta like, you gotta actively go after your wife's mental load and help her with it. That's the key thing. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> That's the the thing that that most marriages, I think, really struggle with is the husband doesn't understand or doesn't know how to lighten that load. And even <clears throat> it takes a lot of communication to understand how to help her. Like as yeah. far as yeah. you know, because she might want it done a certain way or whatever, and you're not going to do it that way. I mean, there's a lot of communication involved in that too. Is solving that puzzle? Like it, it there is, and it is hard. It is hard. It, it, this is the whole chicken and the egg problem because it's much easier to to um, assist your wife in the mental load, and to and the fourth thing was you know feed her love language but it's much easier to do that when when you're feeling fulfilled intimate intimately and you're not Mm -hmm. slogging away in the pmas (laughs) but the problem is with that often the the perception then is often well he only treats me nice when i put out or something like that and maybe for some guys that's the way it is but psychologically it's just much easier to be affectionate towards your wife to be helpful with the children when you're in that bliss window versus you know 14 days in mordor you just gotta put your head down and trudge through it <clears throat> so i don't know i mean if if both sides could understand that and 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 get the ball rolling a little bit mm-hmm. it's amazing yeah yeah it, i mean and if you are in a situation where you have infrequent intimacy in your life it can all change like it can like uh you know for us in our you know, my marriage, it totally changed when we started talking about these things. Mm-hmm. So there's hope. Yep. There's definitely hope. Yep. So share these videos. I don't know. Uh, hopefully, I don't know. I, I, I really feel strongly that the, the next step in the process is to get one or both of our wives to share the female perspective and something that might resonate more with the, with the wives out there in an easier way than husband's bringing up or sharing these two doofuses you know i mean i think i think hearing it from the from the from the wife's perspective could could really be a benefit to to guys that are you know we're in our situ- are in the situation we used to be in mm-hmm. so yeah we're working on them it's just women are crackpots you gotta like you gotta warm them up slowly to it's this true thing. so we're, we're we're doing our best boys yep that's right so anyway well it's a good time to it's a good time to do this episode because I I make no promises about tomorrow. <clears throat> <laughs> yep, it's gonna be out of Just town. One day at a time. One day at a time. Oh, and you travel too. Yeah. So. Mm. Yeah, that is tough, man. <clears throat> yeah, you know, you're. I was always really doing the math, and uh, before, I mean, under the normal schedule, it's like it's it it maybe maybe it breaks right before I leave. Uh, or probably right after mm. I, don't, I don't like i don't like going to hotel rooms when i'm yeah, deep into pmas yeah for sure I mean. but um i don't i'm only i'm only spending one night in a hotel the second okay. night i'm sleeping in an airport so that should be easier <laughs> i'll either be in jail <laughs> i'll be okay and if i'm not i'll be in jail so <laughs> oh god you gotta do you know the the lord said that if you're if you're um you know your hand 
cause you to sin, cut it off. Yep. If, or if, sleep in an airport. Hotel, yeah, if hotels cause you to sin, uh, sleep in an airport. <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> There's a pro tip for you guys. Save some money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, save a lot of money. Yep. Um, so anyway, well, stay tuned, everybody. All right. We'll wait for the dramatic conclusion. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Jonah. You bet. And until next time, everyone. Bye. Have a good one.